this interview with me and I got to say congratulations because you are part of a wonderful series on CBC Jim. It's been around for a while now and I think it's not just for young folks, adults too can really enjoy this. What is this fantastic series that you are part of? And let's get right off the bat with it. What is it about? All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. First of all, I'm so honored to be like doing this interview right now. Um, but yeah, so I have the amazing, amazing opportunity to be a part of Detention Adventure going on our third season this year um, for CBC and CBC Gem. And yeah, this show, uh, this season, especially I find is really about each one of um, our characters kind of coming into their own and yeah. not being yeah. afraid of being who they are and really embracing different sides of themselves they never really thought of uh, exploring. When you heard about this series, I mean, what were your first thoughts? Because we are talking three years ago, and a lot's been going on in the last three years, okay? So give me your thoughts when you first were approached on this, being part of it, and then filming this and doing all this during the pandemic. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's actually <laughs> been like over three years ago when I was approached with uh, – Detention Adventure, uh, because we started with our trailer, which we filmed 2018, 17, almost four years now, I believe. Wow. Um, but yeah, uh, honestly, I was like really stoked uh, for the opportunity to even be doing the trailer, let alone be on the actual season, because most of the times when you're recording a pilot episode or pilot trailer, they never really use the original cast. So we were all really shocked and really excited and just, yeah, like so incredibly excited to be coming back for a first season. We didn't even know we'd get a second season, let alone a third. So yeah, this journey has really just been such a beautiful and crazy and chaotic experience, um, especially through the pandemic. Um, you know, we kind of had to navigate this new way of learning uh, how to film and work around, you know, the COVID uh regulations and rules because we want it to be respectful of that just you know we want everyone to be healthy and safe overall um you know but also find a way to um be able to rehearse all the songs and dances and <laughs> be able to film and find all these really cool locations and nooks in the world that were really beautiful to film in um but yeah i mean it was definitely a different experience but not a lesser experience at all no absolutely not uh who's your character and how does your character connect to to the series so my character's name is rain rain westbrook um she uh is basically kind of the leader of leader of our core four um within detention adventure she's kind of um she's kind of the one who started uh this whole adventure in a way as mm -hmm. we're in season one she was kind of the one where we're like we should get on this you know like this could lead to like oh my god so many cool experiences and this and that um so yeah she was kind of like the first one to gather our uh core four together uh to start off this adventure and she's just grown from there <laughs> so you just said the word grown two things that we are noticing well first off before we get into the second question i'm gonna ask i'm gonna go to the first one this is the perfect, I would say, character for you because it's almost like you grew, not just grew into this character, but you were training to become this character in all the things that you've done in the past. Talk about all the great things that you've done because commercials and things like that, like you've really honed your skills to be doing this. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, Rain was pretty much like the first consistent character that I was that I had the opportunity to play and, um, you know, just prior having done like a few uh, other things for CBC, um, a couple commercials, uh, stepping into, you know, a character that I could fully call mine was really amazing for me, especially just seeing her whole character arch arc and how she's grown. Uh, like I said, from season one, where she was just kind of like this hot, fiery ball of anger and ready to snap on anybody and very sassy, which was really far from who I am <laughs> um, as someone who's very like, quiet. <laughs> it's so funny that you say that because it is, I think it doesn't shock people when they meet you and they see that beautiful smile and things like that because they're used to that scowl and like, yeah, cross me. 
I dare you. Cross me. I know. Like, I, I, well, um, we did a couple, we like got to do a Zoom meet with a couple schools who had been watching Detention Adventure. And <laughs> the first thing I'm always like is like, I'm um, guys, I'm really nice. I promise. Like, I am so different from Rain. Like, I'm very quiet, very non confrontational. Um, so, yeah, like she was definitely a stretch for me in season one and a little bit in season two. But I think in season three uh, is kind of where our personalities aligned a little bit more just because uh, she moves into music, which is something that's always been such a huge part of my life. Um, I grew up loving music, you know, some people would even say, like, I learned to sing before I could speak. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I think in this season, she kind of let's go of a little bit of that anger because she's not afraid to embrace who she is and figure that out because she doesn't fully know who that is yet. I was going to say, and isn't that a perfect example and a perfect role model in a lot of ways for young women growing up who aren't sure about themselves? I mean, your character from day one was sure about herself. She just didn't know how to go about it. And she's learning to go about it. That's why I think yours is the perfect example, a perfect role model for young ladies growing up and learning who they are to stay strong, but figure out how to go through life in, in I guess you would want to say, uh, the best light as possible. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, definitely Rain is like such a strong and empowering character you know like she doesn't get knocked down easily and she will put up a fight for sure um when she's taught me a lot of lessons as well you know as someone who's very like timid and a little shy and you timid <laughs> a little bit <laughs> but yeah as someone who doesn't really had to teach myself to kind of speak up a little bit rain definitely helped me move into that so i'm hoping she can you know inspire others to do the same because i know uh rain definitely helped me and uh, you know, the writers, Carmen and Joe, uh, who kind of formulated this character, um, definitely taught me so much, uh, not only about Rain, but about myself. And I was going to say, too, what is it like? I mean, for me, being an older person watching this, um, I could see the changes uh, physically and everything else from when you started to where you are now. What is it like to grow up in front of us? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. I... I know, like, it's it's still so strange to me to, like, look back on season one and be like, oh, my God, I was such a little pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, let alone to have, like, all these people be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, like, I've watched Detention Adventure. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, like, you've really seen all the stages, you know, all the awkward, all the awkward stages, all my tween years. Um, but, yeah, no, like, it's, it's really great to um, kind of watch how we've all progressed as... Yeah unit and as our individual characters and as ourselves you know you can really see it before your eyes and i think it's really special to have been able to grow up on the show <laughs> your fans are all growing up with you what would you say without giving too much away is your favorite episode so far uh whether it be in this new season or even past ones ah uh, i mean okay i have I have a couple for different reasons. Okay. Um, from I have one for each season. From season one, it'll be uh, episode six, uh, which is kind of our Ocean's Eight, <laughs> which I love. It's so fun. It's so funny too. Um, but I also love it for the reason that it was actually the first, um, the first scene that all of our characters uh, shot together was in that episode. Um, so it was kind of like the first time that we were navigating how our characters interact with each other. And it was just very exciting. And there's a lot of laughs. And yeah, I think it'll always have a special place in my heart just because of that. Uh, for season two, it's probably going to be episode eight. Uh, just because actually, I I had my first experience recording uh, my first experience recording a song. Uh, for that episode, because in the background of uh, the track uh, called Lioness, I actually got to sing, which was so, so incredible. I got to record with uh, Antonio. He's incredible, our composer. Um, and yeah, that will always just be such an incredible moment for me, just because 
I always started in acting with the idea of moving into music, but that was kind of like my first opportunity to do so. And then for uh, season three, it's probably going to be episode six. It probably isn't a surprise to most. Um, I don't want to give too much away, though. Okay, (laughs) then don't, don't, because you gave us the first two. So no, no, let's not give away uh, season three. But you talked a little bit about music. Is there a chance in the future that we're going to get music from you released for the charts or maybe an ep or an album in the future yeah i mean i i actually already have a couple songs out now i mm-hmm. have uh two singles dry eyes and older uh, most recently i released uh older and i released the music video for older um but yeah there's definitely lots and lots and lots to come <laughs> um yeah i'm working on so much music and i'm so ecstatic about it i'm really happy two more questions one because we have been going through a tough time you know a lot of young folks have been confused um no not sure what's happening even as we're trying to come out of this pandemic you see there are other things going on in the world what advice can you give them so that they're not scared you know that's a hard thing to do and say but just to know that yeah we can we can do this we can get through this yeah i mean uh... That's a really good question. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this year has been kind of, these past couple years have been such a whirlwind and, you know, being someone, a teenager, <laughs> um, I can definitely like understand um, and sympathize with, you know, struggling a little bit just because you kind of, you're kind of just like left in this isolation where you have nothing to kind of distract yourself from any, any you know personal issues that you kind of weren't able to figure out in the past whereas now like you had all this time to literally just think and wander and so i can understand how you can kind of get lost in it and that's okay you know i think that um my generation can we're good about being self-aware and prioritizing our mental health, especially yeah. within these past couple of years, just because it is important. It is very important uh, to prioritize your mental health and be aware of yourself and know when you need to take a break and allow yourself to take that time because you need it. And last question, even though we are into the season, what do you hope fans are going to get from season three? Um, I hope... I think, I hope this season they're surprised because there's definitely a lot of twists and turns. Um, I hope that they are happy with the ending. Uh, I think, you know, it's, I hope that, I'm so sorry. (laughs) That's a really good question. Um, I hope that they're proud of uh, how our characters have grown and can kind of learn from that because, you know, our starting point versus where we're ending are so, so, so different. And I hope that they kind of learn from our growth and are, um, yeah, kind of content with, (laughs) <laughs> Simone, thank you so much for this interview. But more importantly, thank you so much to you and the cast and everybody uh, on this great show for, in a lot of ways, giving us some moments where we could forget about the tough times and just have a really great experience watching Adventure Detention. So, or Detention. What did I say? Did I say it right? <laughs> I feel like I just said it wrong. Say it for me one more time. It is called. Detention adventure. <laughs> Detention adventure. I think I said it the opposite way. This is what happens when you get get to my age. You start getting seen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the interview. And again, thank you for such a great series. Thank you so much for having me.